Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to looking at another Nerf Blaster on the channel. My name is Luke Triton and today we're looking at the Modulus Regulator. In this series we look at Nerf Blasters and we decide whether it's worth buying them if you don't already have one. So this is the Regulator in the Modulus line which means it has loads of customization potential. It is magazine fed, battery operated and it has select fire. Can you see that? No, my hand's in the way. Let's try that again. Select fire, there it is. This is the first blaster Nerf has released with Select Fire, and I am very excited to use this because it's a lot of fun. So, I am going to cut straight to the point. Is it worth buying this blaster? Yes, it really is. Normally in this series, we look at the pros and cons and decide at the end, but I'm going to spend some time saying to you why you should get this. This is a 2017 release, so it's not that old yet. I actually haven't seen this on shelves in the UK yet, which is a bit odd. I did buy this one online and it did come with everything as you can see here. But again, it's just a bit weird to me how stuff coming out in the UK is always so delayed, it's a bit awful. But nonetheless, it does come with four attachments, obviously in the modulus line you need plenty of attachments. Three of which are barrels. So the first one, and well, first two I should say, are kind of the same thing. These are barrel scopes. So if I take one of them off, give you a closer look. This is what the front, well this is the small scope barrel, I think it's this one, the other one's called the longer one. They're the same length, but it's just a different look. So it's actually really nice, infinitely scalable, because you could attach it onto other barrels, and you can attach other barrels onto this one. It has, as you noticed, the female attachment point. So we can go onto tactical rails. This and the other barrel line up with the barrel handle, because this does have a little hole that you can use as a sight, which I think is pretty cool. I also love the fact that they finally introduced a handle and I love it as well because it's a attachment for the barrel point, it's not somewhere you put on a rail, which I think is extra sturdy and a very wise idea. Let me just wiggle this off because that's actually a bit strong. The second barrel I should also point out also has a tactical rail on the top so you can add other things like a torch, a laser or any other optics if you really want to. And it's quite remarkable to have these at the front because you can attach another blaster, say like a strife, underneath. And you've got two flywheel powered blasters on the go, which is very OP. The blaster itself, let me actually take this all off because this is something to behold. Ugh, there we go. And I want to make a quick comparison because I have one thing I don't like about this blaster. So here it is in all of its glory. Barrel attachment point, stock attachment point, rail up here and rail down here. We have pistol grip, uh, secondary grip above the... Uh, what's it called, the select fire switch, magazine well, and then we have the tactical rail. I'm going to put this down one sec, I'm going to grab another blaster. Can anybody guess what that blaster is? It is the Modulus. This has the magazine grip, uh, the pistol grip, then the magazine well, then secondary grip, then the tactical rail. It's so much easier for this blaster to hold it like this because it's a lot more comfortable. And if you wanted to put other attachments on the barrel or grip there, it's so much easier because that magazine isn't in the way. Whereas if I try to do that with the regulator, I'm bumping my hand against this and it's becoming a bit of a stretch and it's just not comfortable. So in Nerf Wars where I go to use this blaster, I don't touch the barrels at all. I always put my hand here and I always keep it nice and close. Which is a bit of a shame because it could be really cool and you can still use it for super long combos. But I personally just can't do that. It's just too difficult, a bit unwieldy and that's the only thing I don't like about this blaster. The blaster does come with two of these 12 darts magazines. Anything smaller than six is pointless. Anything smaller than 10 is actually a bit daft. Uh, let me quickly show you something. I want to start yelling at Nerf for this because this is, honestly, I'm not sure why they did this. So this is a 10 darts magazine with a slight bend at the end. What's it called? It's a banana clip, that's it. This is the same length as the 12 dart clip. Just that bend at the end takes away two darts. What's the point of what's the point of this? It's stupid. And why would you use 12 dart magazines when 18 dart stick mags exist? They're the best. But people have opinions, so I suppose I have to respect that. It does come with two of them, that's a good thing, because after you play with your select fire mode and you burst through all of these rounds, you've got plenty more to play with. This stock as well is phenomenal. Let me take this off again. Another comparison to the modulus no well, having things fall over good god there we go so these do the same thing 
They both hold magazines in the upwards position, but this one is very flexible. This one is solid. And for almost all of my personal builds for using a Nerf Blaster, or personal combo I should say, I'm almost always using this stock. It's brilliant and I absolutely love it. Another bonus feature is, if I put this all back together again, here we go, da -da 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 -da. I need to actually take off the other bla uh, barrels. Bit of a mumbo jumbo, we're doing this all live, here we are. One thing to quickly point out, the handle on the barrel does spin, it is not set into one place so you can hold it any way you like, fully ambidextrous which is very cool. But you can actually store this in the stock. That's a very nice little touch because if there's times where you want to switch from being close quarters to going heavy, pull it out and you're in. I love that. Absolutely love that. So, I think I've pretty much covered everything. So yes, again, as mentioned earlier, oh shit, in this series we talk about Nerf Flashes and we decide whether it's worth buying them today. If you don't already have this, you must buy one. It is very, very cool. It is going to be a bit pricey because... Obviously this has a lot going for it and people know the value of this blaster. So if you can pick one up for a price that you're happy to pay with, absolutely go ahead with it. If you can try and find one that has all of the attachments and basically uh, the... Where's the other magazine there is? So all the attachments on both magazines, that is a big plus because obviously you're getting the whole package then. But this is truly one of the best blasters I've ever seen from Nerf. And I love that it's in the modulus line as well because... I could definitely see the Select Fire thing being in the Elite line first as a way of testing it, so to say, with their next automatic blaster they could put this in. But no, this was all done, again, absolutely perfectly. I think the only way they could have topped this was by including a drum magazine, but that's just my personal preference because I love drums in comparison to stick mags. So yes, this is the Nerf Modulus Regulator. Absolutely buy this blaster, it is so much fun. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.